The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to your distance learning session with uh, me, Chamaze Arnold Akebu, your history teacher for the Upper Six Arts class. Let us look at the homework we had in our last during our last lesson. It was for you to explain what you understand by the Eastern Regional Crisis. In other words, what do you understand by the Eastern Regional Crisis? What do you understand by the Eastern Regional Crisis? Yes, a possible or uh, a disagreement in the Eastern House of Assembly, which occurred in 1953, influenced by the reluctance to execute radical constitutional changes and cabinet reshuffle by Eyo Ita, the head of the government, on the request of Namzi Azikiwe, the president of the NCNC. It also was or signaled a collapse of the Eo Ita government in the eastern region of Nigeria. Good. Good idea on the eastern regional crisis. Conflict between the chairman of the party and the head of government. Refusal to effectuate changes and eventual collapse of the government. <laughs> Today, we are going to focus on the Eastern Regional Crisis of 1953 to 1954. This was a crisis that occurred in the Eastern Region of Nigeria. To effectively present our lesson, we will begin with our learning objectives, previous knowledge, the situation in real life, learning activities, application exercise, and homework. During this lesson, you will critically examine the causes of the Eastern Regional Crisis. And you will also analyze the outcomes of the Eastern Regional Crisis on the political development in British Southern Cameroons. On the political development in British Southern Cameroons. On the political development in British Southern Cameroons. In your previous lessons, you studied some political changes which were introduced through the Richards Constitution, the Marxist and the Marxist Constitution in Nigeria. And you also analyzed the impact of, of, the, of all those changes on the political development in British Southern Cameroon. Mm. Let us consider the situation in real life. As senior prefect of your school, you consulted the student body on important issues to be included in the internal rules and regulations. However, some of these proposals were rejected by the school council. To your greatest dismay, 
you were instead dismissed as senior prefect. That is in trying to secure the rights of the student body, you find yourself being humiliated as senior prefect of the school. How will you communicate this message to other student prefects and student representatives to ensure a peaceful resolution of the crisis? During this lesson, you will mobilize resources and critical thinking skills that will empower you to uphold dialogue and medi mediation as approaches to influencing political changes in the nation. You will also inspire and also to inspire political actors to mainstream non-violent and constitutional methods in presenting political opinions for nation building. Let us observe this document for one minute, after which we will answer some questions that will follow. After we answer some questions that will follow. Give the title to the document. How many regions did Nigeria have by 1946? To which of these regions was Southern Cameroon attached? Who were Cameroon's representatives at the Eastern Regional Assembly? Regional and the Central Executive Councils by 1953. This we already saw in the, the previous lesson. However, you are called upon to recapitulate. We say it is a map of British Cameroons. That is British South, Southern Cameroons and Northern Cameroons, which together make up the British Trust territory that was attached to the British colony of Nigeria. Nigeria was made up of three regions by 1953. These included the North, the East, and the West, which have been carved out by Governor Bernard Bodium, who was governor of Nigeria between 1935 and 1943. And he did this in 1939, and it was validated by the Richard Constitution of 1946, and continued suit with the Macpherson Constitution of 1951. As to those who represented British Southern Cameroons in the Nigerian legislature, we had J.N. Foncha, S.T. Muna, V.T. Lianjo, Ntinze, A.J. Ngala, Kamsen, Z, S.A. George, M.N. Foju, Mbile, Chale, Endele, and Mutombe Woleta. These we had earlier on seen. British Southern Cameroons equally had two ministers. With regards to the Macpherson Constitution. That was E. M. L. Endeli, who was the Minister of Labor in Lagos, and S. Muna, who was Minister of Works in Enu. So while Endeli was at the national level, S. Muna was at the regional level in Enu. Let us observe this other document for one minute, after which we are going to answer some questions that will follow. Questions. Identify the personality in the document. Mm. 
identify the personality in the document. Identify the personality in the document. Why and how did the personality lose his executive position in the Council of Ministers? What were the causes of the institutional crisis? And how did this crisis influence political development in British Southern Cameroons? And how did this crisis influence political development in British Southern Cameroons? The personality is Solomon Tande Muna, popularly known as S.C. Muna, who was one of the representatives from the Bamenda administrative unit of Bamenda province in British Southern Cameroon. He lost his ministerial position with, as a result of the Eastern Regional Crisis. As a result of the Eastern Regional Crisis. Remember he was a minister at this time who had some portfolio. He lost this position as a result of the Eastern Regional Crisis. We earlier on saw what the Eastern Regional Crisis was, but what actually caused the Eastern Regional Crisis? To begin with, it is important to have a vivid background of the Eastern Regional Crisis. The Eastern Regional House of Assembly, which was unicameral in Nigeria, in the Eastern region, was controlled by the National Council for Nigeria and the Cameroons, NCNC, who would lead us as Namzi Azikiwe. Dr. Namzi Azikiwe, who was the president of this party, instructed Eyo Ita, remember, Eyo Ita was the vice president of the NCNC party, but however, was the leader of government business in the Eastern region. As a result of this, power struggle developed between Eyo Ita, who was leader of government business, and Dr. Namzi Asikiwe, who was the president of the party. Remember, in the other regions, the presidents of the party were the leaders of government business. But in the Eastern region, this was not the case. Thus, it created a personality and power struggle between Namzi Azikiwe and Io Ida. This was further experienced through the differences in political strategy and approach between Namzi Azikiwe and Io Ida. Namzi Azikiwe was radical and wanted a boycott of the Macpherson constitution, whereas Iyo Ita was moderate. As a result of this, Namzi Azikiwe proposed a radical cabinet reshuffle in the Eastern Regional Government. However, Namzi or Eyo Ita, who was leader of government business, rejected this radical cabinet reshuffle requested by Zik, the president of the party. Namzi Azikiwe went further to mobilize the National Executive Committee of the NCNC, which proposed a cabinet reshuffle with six members to be kept aside, including Io Ita. And thus, the National Executive Committee requested the resignation of all nine ministers in the Eastern Regional Government. The six replacements that were to come in included Io S.T. Muna and N.N. Bile were proposed as ministers within this NCNC proposed executive. 
This probably was because the NCNC had started taking into the interest the people of the British South Cameroon for our separate regional status within Nigeria. So this cabinet proposed Estimuna as minister without portfolio and NN delay as Minister of Development. As a result of these massive resignations and the instruction of the National Executive Committee of the NCNC Political Party, there was a collapse of the government of EO Ita. S.C. Muna accepted to leave. Nine out of the 13 Southern Cameroonian representatives chose to stay clear from Nigerian politics and they call themselves the Benevolent Neutrality Bloc. However, four other Southern Cameroonians became known as the Sitai representatives. These four rejected the policy of Benevolent Neutrality. And these were NN Delay, RN Charlie, SNZ, and Otome Wolenda. They preferred to stay within the Eastern Regional Assembly and to continue fighting for better conditions for British Southern Cameroons. As a result of this crisis, S.T. Muna, the only Southern Cameroons minister in Enugu, was dismissed. And following a vote of 45 against 32 for his reinstatement, Estimuna was never reinstated to his ministerial position. This further angered the British Southern Cameroonians, who realized that the interest of British Southern Cameroonians could never be protected within the Nigerian legislature. And the idea of a Cameroon nation started developing in the minds of Southern Cameroonian politicians. With this crisis that has ensued in the Eastern region, certain consequences followed, and these were those aspects that affected the political development in British Southern Cameroon. First of all, the action group of Obafume Olowo and the NCNC of Namzi Azikiwe supported the benevolent neutrals in their position in requesting that Southern Cameroons be provided a separate region within Nigeria. Thus, the East Regional Crisis intensified the call for a separate legislature for Southern Cameroons. As well as the Israel crisis led to the split in southern Cameroon, in the southern among the southern Cameroonians in the assembly into two camps. We had the Sitai block and the benevolent neutrality block. As a result of this, of the Israel crisis, the benevolent neutrality block members decided to convene. A conference in Mamfi in 1953, which was attended by politicians, students, and traditional rulers. Remember, there had been a conflict between the traditional rulers and the West educated elite who accused the colonial administration of using just traditional leaders. But thanks to the Eastern crisis, the traditional, the natural rulers, the politicians, and students came together to chart a way forward. British Southern Cameroons. And out of the Manfe Conference of 1953, the Benevolent Neutrality Bloc members formed out of their various pressure groups, the KUNC, formed the first indigenous political party in British Southern Cameroon, the Cameroon National Congress. Take note of the K, which stood for the Cameroon ID. The Cameroon idea. Thus, 
the idea of the Cameroon nation started developing in the mind of the Cameroonian politicians during the Eastern Regional Crisis, which shed the skills of their eyes to realize that the interests of British Southern Cameroonians will never be protected as long as they stay within the Nigerian legislature. As if that was not enough, the, those of the benevolent of the, the C-type block also created their own political party, the KPP, Cameroon People's Party. Mm. The Eastern Regional Crisis equally led to the final collapse of the defective Marcos's constitution and introduced or and brought in place a new constitution. Thus, from 1953 right up to 1954, Arrangements were being made, conferences were being organized in preparation for the a new constitution. It also led to the granting of uh, the Eastern Regional Crisis, also led to the granting of a uh, quasi regional status for British Southern Cameroons in 1954. Let us look at this application exercise. Let us ask ourselves, with all the political activism of the British Southern Korean politicians, the benevolent neutrals, the C-type bloc, what were some of the practical measures or approaches taken by British Southern Cameroonians to press for separation from Nigeria? To begin with, we thought of the formation of political parties. The British Southern Cameroonians formed political parties. The benevolent neutrality bloc formed the Cameroon National Congress in 1953. The CTI bloc formed the KPP, Cameroon People's Party, in 1953. We see a common idea, the importance of a Cameroon nation in the K, in the KPP, and the K in the KNC. But then, why did we have the, the C type block and the benevolent neutrality block? The British Southern Cameroonians wrote petitions. During the Manfe conference, it was to prepare a petition. And this conference that was held in 1953, the British Southern Cameroonians not only called for British. I'm sure to grant them a separate regional status, but form the KNC to champion this cause. So they prepared a petition which was carried to Lord Littleton, the British Secretary of Colonies in London, attending of conferences. Besides the Manfi conference, the British Southern Cameroonians were represented by E.M. Endeli, J.C. Thompson, and Malam Abba, who represented British Cameroons at the Lancaster House Conference of July to August 1953 to demand provisional status. Remember, the issue of a separate status of British Southern Cameroons was blocked because of the unclarified situation of Northern Cameroons. Of Northern Cameroon. Therefore, Endeli, Kansen, and Malam Abba had to attend the Lancaster House Conference to press for a regional status for British Southern Cameroons. Participation in elections. The British Southern Cameroons equally took part in elections. Because of the divergent opinion to a, for a separate status or continuous intervention with Nigeria, the British Southern Cameroons were asked, and it was asked, if your idea for a separate status was voted by the British Southern Cameroonians, British Southern Cameroons will be granted a regional status within Nigeria. With the passing of the Marcus's constitution and the creation of a constitution of British Southern Cameroons, the first members of the Southern Cameroons Assembly, who came into place in 1954, created autonomous structures such as the Southern Cameroon's Marketing Board and the Southern Cameroon's Production Produce Board. 
All of these were in a bid to facilitate a viable region for British Southern community. However, because of requests by delay for a financial examination of British Southern Cameroons to verify its potentials to run a region, British Southern Cameroons could not be given a full regional status. And that is why it had a constitutional status because of certain financial challenges that came up in 1954. In the course of this university, we examine the course of institutional crisis and we look at the consequences of this crisis as well as the impact of this crisis on the political development in British Southern Cameroon. In preparation for your next lesson, I would like you to look at the provisions of the Littleton Constitution. I would like you to look at the provisions of the Littleton Constitution which granted a quasi regional status to British Southern Cameroon as a result of the Eastern Regional Crisis. During this lesson, we made use of the following resources the Eastern Nigerian Crisis and the Destiny of British Southern Cameroon by Vito Bogamazi. Cameroon History for Secondary Schools by Fadiso, History of Cameroon since 1800 by Julius and a masterpiece by Amal, a complete course of Amal Noble History. Mm. Our next lesson is going to focus on the Littleton Constitution of 1954. <laughs> Una tege majang matege ndom mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen ngani bana matege mot ngani la kiri watege ndom esakina bia dinki do mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen tam tama mote tam zabike tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen 